this is Andre. This is part two of the third Bebo periodic report. In part one, we reviewed the basic Bebo architecture, looked at connecting modules, assembling an instance of Loopler from its base components, and different ways that you can integrate external audio modules into a Loopler signal path. In this video, we're going to go a lot further in the mad scientist's sound design direction. We're going to look at a handful of modules that I particularly like, and look at different ways that they can post-process the Loopler signal, and also how the Loopler signal itself can affect how those instances respond. We're going to look at a granular module, a resonator module, a synth oscillator, and a pitch conversion module, which will read an audio signal and then convert that into CV and MIDI control. Now, modular noodling is definitely a thing, and it's probably going to be a love it or hate it kind of prospect. So if the teaser sounds at the beginning didn't scare you off, then please make yourself at home. And if this is not your cup of tea, I totally understand. So let's look at adding some other modules. And let's try, weird is a good category for me. Let's try granular. And what we're gonna do here is actually set up a parallel signal path. So we're gonna need a second VCA. So I'm gonna hold down VCA, and then it has a clone button here. So it duplicates whatever you're holding down. So now we have a second VCA. Loop common out is going to go into granular. It says mono signal, so left in and left out is fine. Now we're going to send the granular to left out. And we're also going to send this to output one. I'm turning down the VCA for loopler, and we're going to send VCA two to audio output one. We're not hearing anything because I just turned it down. Now let's hear what we've got. There we go. Now let's open up the granular module. So I believe this is a port of a mutable instruments Euro rack module. That makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about with that stuff, and I really don't. So I'm just gonna be quiet and play. Now, right now, we're just hearing the signal going through the granular module, but we could bring the dry loop back in. There it is. There's our dry loop again. I'm gonna bring the dry loop down just a bit. Let's bring feedback up. And this is just granular again. So that's cranked all the way. I'm going to bring up the dry volume a little bit, but have it balanced a little more. So the Loopler VCA is relatively low, it's 80%. So now we can hear both the granular signal and the ungranular signal. All right, let's assign VCA2's output to another beat step knob. Let's assign that to the second rotary encoder. So now, that's the dry looper signal. This is the granular signal. And for right now, we're gonna turn both of those down. Now we're going to move these out of the way because now we're going to add a third module. All right, now we're going to add a multi-resonator. And we're going to add another VCA for the multi-resonator. Clone that. There's VCA3. Loopler common out going into the multi-resonator. 
multi-resonator going into VCA3. Uh, do we care about which port it's coming from? Let's do even. Let's do odd as well. So I'm going to connect it again, just so we will sum it all to mono. I know I'm very low tech doing mono. I'm going to bring the volume down here just so we don't get any nasty surprises. Connect VCA3 to the first output. And now let's see what we've got. And before I forget, let's assign VCA3 to the third rotary encoder on the beat step. Cool. Alright, so the multi-resonator is really fun. You have a bunch of different models here. And you're basically sending it through different models of resonant things. I like that. Okay. So I like this, but we're going to add an extra layer to it. We're going to add a pitch detector. This basically detects pitch, or tries to detect pitch, and I mean that in the best possible way for reasons you will soon see, and then can convert that into MIDI or control voltage. So we're going to send loop common out into the pitch detector. Now we're going to send the pitch detector, we're not going to send it directly to the output. We're going to use the voltage per octave pitch and we're going to send it to pitch. So now what's happening is that the pitch detection module is trying to read the pitch of the loop and then modulate the parameters of the multi-resonator. Let's bring the dry loop back into here without compares. And I'm going to bring down the resonator volume a little bit. So intonation is probably not quite ready for the Grammys, but that's okay different parameters on the pitch detect will give you different effects. This seems to work the best. So now, let's try changing the pitch. Oh! Got lucky. Very nice. It's a little loud, so let's bring the volume down for the resonator just a hair. Let's check out some of the other resonator models in here. Let's try increasing the polyphony. Not crazy about that. VCA down for the resonator. Let's mix up the loop a little bit. Let's reverse it. And let's change the rate. I like that. Okay. We are going to bring down the VCA for the resonator for just a second because we are going to disconnect the pitch detect from loop common out for a moment because we're going to put something else in the middle there. We're going to put 
a bandpass filter in there for reasons that will become apparent. So loop common out is going into the bandpass filter. This is actually a multi-mode filter. We're gonna use the bandpass output going into pitch detection. Here is why we did that. I'm bringing the VCA for the resonator back up. I'm bringing the dry VCA down, so this is just the resonator. And what I found is that by adjusting the bandpass filter, it will accentuate different pitches, which will also cause it to change the pitches that it puts out. Increase the bandwidth, I'm sorry, narrow the bandwidth. Oh boy. Narrow, bring it down. Let's bring in the dry loop just to see what's going on with that. And how about a slightly different resonator model? Now, we're gonna take this one step further. I'm moving this stuff out of the way. All right, we're gonna stay with the pitch detection idea and we're gonna add in a synthesizer oscillator. The macro oscillator. All right, so we're gonna take another signal from the pitch detector into the macro oscillator. go and again this is after the bandpass filter now we're gonna create a fourth VCA clone boom we're gonna turn the level of the VCA all the way down preemptively macro oscillator goes to VCA 4 we're using the regular output VCA 4 goes to the main output because we're running in glorious mono okay turning down all the first three VCAs, and let's hear what in God's name we have going on here. So this is the pitch detector, reading the pitch of the loop, but now instead of feeding it into the resonator, we're feeding it into a synth oscillator. So let's assign VCA4 to one of the beat step encoders, so we can turn that god-awful noise down. I actually really like it, but... Okay. Let's bring the dry loop back in so we can hear that, how that compares. Little attitude. I personally love that. I like that really grindy microtonal stuff. Your mileage may vary. And again, let's adjust the bandpass filter frequency and that will cause the pitch detector to accentuate different notes. Or will it? Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's geek out over some of the different types of oscillators we have. Bringing the volume up on that VCA. Yeah, okay.
cost. No, that's too high. Wave table oscillator. It's a little high. Let's see how low we can make it. So frequency. I'm gonna bring it down. Oh, lucky again. I'm not crazy about that oscillator, no offense, so... Ah, ha, 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 Success result. There we go. There we go. All right. So, for the grand finale, let's bring in everything we've got, one at a time. Silencing everything except the dry loop. Now, let's bring in the granular module, which is attached to VCA2. Can't really hear it. Turn off the dry signal, see if we can make this a little louder without blowing everything up. signal coming back in. Gonna bring the granular VCA down just a bit. Let's bring the multi-resonator in. And let's bring the synth oscillator in. Change the resonator model. Let's change. Woo. Let's change the oscillator type. Gonna bring down the granular. No, let's change the granular. Sounds like it's kind of doing something. Let's bring down the multi resonator and the oscillator. Actually, let's bring them both all the way down, see what's going on with granular. Yeah, okay, kind of a quiet thing. That's okay, granular. It's okay to hang out in the background. Here's the resonator. Here's the synth. Change the resonator model again. Sure, let's change the oscillator one more time. No. Sure, fake analog. Oh boy. Now we're talking. Let's change up the loop. Forward playback. Twice the regular speed. Regular speed. Let's 
let's mess with the bandpass filter frequency just to mess with what pitches we're getting from the pitch detector. Wow. Gonna bring up the resonator a bit. Gonna bring the dry loop down. And we're not hearing the dry loop but I'm gonna change its rate. Slowing it down more and more. That is gloriously obnoxious. Changing the filter cutoff. Wow. Let's bring the dry loop back in. Let's fade out the synth. Let's bring granular in. If it's not already, I don't know. Let's get something a little more active with granular. Boost the feedback a bit. Come on. Definitely doing something. Bring down the resonator. So now this is just granular and dry. Let's get rid of the dry. This is just the granule. Drive back in. 